Hello everyone, welcome to GS Core. So in our series of the coverage of daily current affairs through MCQs, we are going to look at five multiple choice questions based on today's current affairs. Let us have a look at the topics that we are going to touch upon today. So the first one is about federalism. Well, the elections are on, right? Uh, and the federalism issue uh, is in the courts again. Uh, at the core of the federalism lies the FISC or the fiscal federalism regarding the transfer of funds. So recently, the Honorable Supreme Court has directed the central government to respond to the Karnataka government's plea seeking drought relief funds. Right. The next one is about the technology in agriculture. And recently, there was a news that four districts in the state of Rajasthan are reporting a decline in groundwater. Right, and hence the innovation part in agriculture is in news again. Right, the next one is about the AI regulation, and if we look at the regulation of AI, this has been in news for quite some time now. Whether it was the conference at Bletchley Park right uh, in UK or the movements which are happening in US, Asia and India right and in this light India's response and role is crucial. Next is about the space debris. Uh, recently uh, the space debris was in news for the fact uh, that ISRO is actually uh, embarking on projects which are leaving zero orbital debris, right? And ISRO has launched various missions, namely the PSLV Orbital Experimental Module 3. Last but not the least, the Kikadas a species in news. So let us quickly jump to the very first question. And if you see the federalism as an issue, it continues to remain in news. I mean, this is an issue which remain in news for years and years altogether, right? While the recent uh, debate is about the Supreme Court and the state of Karnataka and the central government regarding the drought relief, the concept of federalism becomes important, right? While there are multiple hues of federalism, whether at the political level, legal level, right? But at the heart of the federalism lies the issue of FISC or the fiscal federalism in terms of the distribution of finances. And therefore, a conceptual question in this regard cannot be ruled out. So, the approach and the skill which is needed for such a question revolves around not only utilizing the concepts that is the retention, but also application and implication. So, let us read the question, but before that if we see the format it is the vague format wherein how many are needed so elimination cannot be used and we need to find the incorrect one. So the question reads regarding center state relation consider the following statements. It involves sharing of power and responsibility between the central and the state governments in India. Part 
11 of the constitution deals with the legislative relations between the center and the states. If you look at this statement, this statement is also true. The parliament has exclusive power to make laws with respect to any of the matters enumerated in list 1 of the 11th schedule, that is the union list. And therefore, this statement is also correct. Now, if you see these three are general statements based on which you can identify the correctness of the statement pretty easily. But if you look at the fourth statement under the centrally sponsored schemes, the central government provide a significant portion of funding to the scheme while the state government is required to contribute the rest. So there are centrally sponsored schemes as in here and there are central sector schemes, right? Generally, the center sector schemes are fully funded by center. So, that is the concept which will come in handy, that what happens with regards to finances in central sector scheme and centrally sponsored schemes, okay? So, this statement is also correct. So, the incorrect statement, there are none. Hence, the option to mark would be option D. Option D. Right? Also, there are various uh, notions which are being given to federalism. The cooperative federalism, combative federalism, competitive federalism. So, you should keep in mind the undertones of these as well. Now, let us move to the next question and it is about technology in agriculture. So, if you look at the technology in agriculture, skills, approach, concepts, the types and issues and then the solutions becomes important when it comes to agriculture. The news is about the groundwater decline right in four districts of the Shekhavati region that is the Seeker, Junjunu, Churu and Neem Kathana and how the traditional methods are being innovative to bring about the productivity enhancement in agriculture. So, the skills uh, and the approach which is needed is not just the conceptual but also the application orientation that what can lead to, what, what are the implications. If you look at the format, we can definitely use the elimination here. So, we are being asked to find out the correct statements. Let us look at the statements. The Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare is leveraging AI technologies to benefit farmers and enhance overall agricultural productivity. That is correct. Kisan e Mitra is an AI powered chatbot designed to address farmer queries about PM Kisan scheme. This is also correct. The National Pest Surveillance System is a collaborative effort with the private sector which aims to provide farmers with real-time weather updates. Well, it is not about weather updates. If you look at, it is about the information about crop issues. Crop issues. And it is not about weather updates as such. So, whenever the technology in agriculture as a topic comes, the measures, tools, agencies becomes important. Like you see, PM Kisan, Kisan e Mitra, right, National Pest Surveillance System. So, these entities become important. Therefore, the stakeholder and features mapping become so, if you look at this statement, this statement becomes incorrect. So, 1 and 2 are correct, the 3 is incorrect. Therefore, the option to mark here would be option B.
option B. Moving further to AI regulation. Well, number of events have been held. So, the news will be regarding always a framework, right, an event and their outcomes and where is India in all this. So, the concept of regulation is important and with regards to this, if we look at the skills and approach, largely they are facts. So, retention is a critical skill and with retention the correlation. For example, if you look at this question, it is about Cypher 2023. So, if you look at the Cypher 2023. Uh, it was regarding the, uh, uh, you know, a conference which was held uh, to look at the issues of AI regulation, right? And it was something which was held in Bangalore in India. So, like I said, these events, frameworks, these are essential. So, Knowledge of facts and their relation and correlations become important. If you look at the format, it is again vague how many kind wherein you cannot use the elimination and we need to find the correct ones. So, let us have a look at the statements. Cypher has rapidly involved into a melting pot of India's most brilliant AI experts, providing a platform for them to convene and share their groundbreaking ideas. This is correct. Cypher 2023 is a three-day event that was showcased the latest AI advancement. True. As technology rapidly evolves and revolutionizes the world, the conference aimed to foster dialogue around the latest AI trends, highlighting transformative impact of these technologies. So, if you look at all these statements, these are vague. But do they link to Cypher or is it the purpose of the Cypher? Right? That is to be noted. For example, like I talked about the uh, the summit at the Bla Bletchley Park in Buckinghamshire in United Kingdom. It was about AI safety. It was about AI safety, right? Similarly, the European Union, China, UK, India all have actually voiced their opinions uh, regarding the AI safety. So, this entire mapping is essential. This entire mapping is essential. So, if you look at these statements, all of them are correct. Hence, the answer to mark would be option C. Option C. Moving on to the next one. About space debris. So, the news, like I said, is about PSLV. Right? The orbital experimental module, it was in news and it garnered quite an attention. So, the concept with regards to space and we are talking about sciences. So, the skills and approach will not only involve the retention, correlation, but also application. So, when you look at the concept space, the issues regarding the debris, what is India doing and what are others doing about it? Others would mean major spacefaring nation, whether that is US, EU, Russia, Japan, China, etc. Okay. So, again, if you look at it is the how many, look at the way options are being framed. The order is twisted. So, be very careful. So, let us look at the statements that we have. Under the poem, PSLV Orbital Experimental Module Mission, ISRO aims to address space debris challenge for sustainable space missions. This is correct. The low earth orbit is filled with space debris and this will come from the issue part here. Like the pieces of spacecraft rockets, defunct satellites and fragment from explosive deteriorations during anti-satellite missile tests. That is also correct. So, major problem of the space debris is in the low earth orbit. If you draw the diagram, 
so you will see that how low earth orbit is cluttered with space debris in usa the the space debris mitigation act of 2007 regulates the policies related to leo debris or low earth uh, orbit debris well there is no such legislation so as to say with regards to leo debris so this statement is incorrect this statement is incorrect right recently the isro demonstrated the zero orbital debris idea uh, through a mission and therefore this was in news so if you look at out of the three two are correct one is incorrect hence the option to mark here would be only two so don't rush therefore only two represents here option c option c moving on to the next and the last question and it is about kikadas right uh, so if you see uh, kikadas are a type of insects right uh, because these insects are said to swarm the united states and that therefore this was in news so with regards to concept and species family type impact status all these things are necessary so with regards to approach and skills largely its facts therefore it is retention it is largely about what and what they lead to kind of questions so very little correlation is needed but largely it is the factual retention if you see it is in statement codes therefore elimination can be used and we have to find the correct ones so kikadas are the members of the super family kikadoidea this is correct like i said the family the type etc is important right they are physically distinguished by their stout bodies broad heads clear membered wings membraned wings and large compound eyes the features the physical features this is also correct some species of kikada live very short period of time though most of the time spent underground so this is correct that most of the time that they spend is underground but they are rather long lived and that makes them distinguish from large number of other insects they can live up to 17 years or so right and therefore this statement is incorrect so that actually comes from the characteristics part so 3 is incorrect 1 and 2 are correct therefore the option to mark here would be option b option b you will find more articles from the current affairs in our daily current affairs compilation a link for which will be given below that's all thank you